I've got a quick one for you here today. We're going to replace this standard 120 volt uh, three prong plug that's missing the grounding pin with this Leviton replacement plug. And I'll link to this product down below, but uh, keep in mind the process we go through is going to be the same or similar no matter what replacement plug you purchase, okay? Uh, the reason why I'm posting this video is because I just had a conversation with someone who was adamant that this grounding pin is absolutely not necessary. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. And while it's not necessary maybe for the uh, product or device to run, uh, it is extremely important. So let's go ahead and get this thing swapped out. All right, this uh, plug that we're replacing goes to my big garage fan here. And I thought I'd take a quick minute and talk about the, the primary functionality of the grounding pin. It'd be nice if you could just jam it in there and super glue it, but you really can, okay? So on the outlet itself, you have this uh, location for the grounding pin and there's usually a bare wire in your Romex that runs all the way back to your breaker box uh, that goes to the ground bus okay and on the inside of this motor or appliance or tool or whatever it happens to be that you're replacing uh, we would likely see a green wire attached to the casing the metal casing of this motor and what it does is it serves a, a, a function of if you if the motor develops a short with the case it allows the uh, short to travel all the way back. It's going to send current back to ground. And it's going to trip the breaker. If this is not there and this motor casing becomes charged with current, it's going to seek out a path to ground. And if the fan were suspended, say, uh, with rubber mounts or some other mechanism that was preventing it to, from reaching ground, the next person or item that touches it that has a path to ground is going to receive the charge, is going to, is going to have a current flowing through them. So this is really a safety mechanism. And most of the time, anytime you see anything outdoors or anything you see something that's running at full, full 120 volts, it's usually going to have a ground pin. Um, and that's for the purpose of safety, okay? Let's go ahead and replace it, and we'll talk about a secondary um, functionality that this serves as well. All right, if you had a pair of wire strippers like these, it's helpful, but it's not absolutely necessary. You could use, you know, needle-nose pliers that have cutters. Um, you could use a razor knife um, once we get going here. In fact, that's what we'll do is strip this back a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to expose the, um, the wires, but not right down to the copper. Okay, once you get it started, you can kind of pull the wires and, and it'll tear. You want to be sure that when you slice through this initial um, shielding that you're not slicing into the wire itself, okay? Let me trim this up here real quick. Okay, so on these Leviton uh, replacement plugs, it takes a small uh, Phillips, and then this should just pull apart like that, okay? What I'm going to do, this one's already been loosened up, but sometimes you've got to loosen these up a little bit. I'm just going to take this and slide it over my wire here and uh, you know this is why you don't want to strip this back a whole lot because I really do want this to clamp down over the black portion you don't want to have it like this all right so pay attention to that a little bit all right now you may notice that I've twisted these wires just so the strands don't peel apart as easily so um, that's helpful okay now let's talk about the plug itself and this brings us to our secondary um, function of this grounding pin. <clears throat> so your green is your ground and it's going to go to the green screw. Usually there'll be a green screw like this. Okay. Your black goes to the gold screw. Okay. This is where your current comes from. And then this is your neutral white and that's going to go to this silver screw. So without this grounding pin because these spades are the same size here, um, these prongs, sometimes you'll see an outlet. Actually, I have an adapter here. I'll show you. And I know you'll notice it here. That spade is, is wider than this one. And again, this is an adapter, but even with this grounding pin missing, it's designed uh, to utilize the center screw of your, of your wall plate um, to provide the ground. So if you're using this and you're not putting the screw through it, then it's, it's really still not safe, okay? Uh, but I, the, to my point of the, the width of the spade, now some of your outlets, you'll notice, one is wider than the other. That's because uh, there's a distinct polarity that, that you're supposed to be plugging into. Without this grounding pin, this plug could actually go in either direction, okay? So you could be sending current through uh, the wire that's supposed to be attached to neutral, which means if you have a switch, say on that fan and the switch cuts, 
the, uh, the black wire or the current going to the motor using the black wire and we have this reversed, would be cutting the neutral, which means that current would be uh, sent through to the motor, which means that it could be charged. There's just no path uh, to complete the circuit because we've cut the neutral. But if you were, say, working on it, which hopefully you don't unplug it, uh, there would be power to it. And you may think that it's not because the switch is off, okay? So that's the secondary functionality of this, all right? So what we're going to do here is we're just going to, again, try to do it neatly as possible. We're going to wind these up a little bit and the way that these uh, connectors work is they they draw this metal piece closer and further away so uh, there's a stationary um, oh, number two Phillips for these ones stationary um, pin there the end of the spade and you can see how that just sort of draws this piece in okay so we're just gonna slip our wire right down into that that's uh, that one there would be the white wire, but let's start with the ground here. And this is why you don't want to strip them back real far. You really just want um, the wire to sit down up into the shielding, and you don't want you don't want a bunch of wire exposed like that. You know, you don't want to have a bunch of wire sticking out. So just take your time and do it neatly. And I'm trying to get it on camera, so it may seem a little awkward here. And I know for a lot of my subscribers, this is probably going to be fairly elementary, but um, I'm trying to do videos that I think a lot of people would, you know, enjoy and, and make use of. So I'm, I'm trying to broaden my audience, I guess you'd say. Uh, so if, if this is something that you found useful and you're not a subscriber, appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and always give me that thumbs up if you did find it helpful. I'd have to bet that there's probably uh, hundreds of thousands of plugs in the United States maybe let me wind this one out this is the one I wound in okay all I'm doing is just tipping it back to get that little that little plate to slide over tighten that one down okay and again black to gold my friend Gary always said remember Beverly Hillberries black gold black to gold so the screw is gold that's going to be the same on outlets and um, most things. Now obviously if we got into 240 volts you've got two hot wires so it's not as um, the rule doesn't hold true there. This incidentally is a 15 amp 120 uh, volt plug. If we were doing a 20 amp it would have a it would have a T-spade or, or a spade that's twisted sideways. Oop, let me just get that in just a little bit more here. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, again, I'm trying to increase my subscriber base. If you're not a subscriber, you like this kind of thing, I've got auto repair, ATV repair, home improvement, electrical work, you name it, I do it. Um, what we're going to do, you can see that's just about perfect, okay? So what we're going to do is just tighten this down. There's a specific way that it goes. If we spin this around, I can show you right there. It's going to slide into there. Um, so I'm going to link to this at the bottom. I, I always use these 11 in ones because they have good luck with them. They hold up really well over time. Uh, nothing worse than going through this process and having the somebody unplug it and the grounding pin immediately falls off. Incidentally, I've had this conversation with my family is uh, pull straight out. Don't yank it. You know, you don't want to unplug it by the, by the cord, say. And also, um, commonality or a common thing people would do would be to pull down, right? So if we if we were to pull down on this over and over and over again, it's essentially going to rip this plug out, right? This grounding pin, rather. So that's what happens. So people just, you know, trying to get it out of there, pull down, rips that off, so pull straight out. I think people are afraid of power, so they don't want to put their hand near it, okay? So I'm just gonna make sure that I've got this black down in there, tighten it down, call this one done. Thanks for watching. Leave questions and comments below. Whoops. Get it down there a little bit more. And uh, have fun.